The 2022 Minto U.S. Open Pickleball Championships got a tremendous amount of attention after the grand opening at the East Naples Community Park. The coronavirus pandemic canceled the event in 2020, and last year's reappearance included limits on attendance due to the pandemic's continuation. But this time, the event was back in full force, and fans were so excited that they bought almost all of the tickets from the Zingzang Championship Court where the biggest matches of the seven-day tournament, which ended on April 30th, are played. The demand for championship court tickets were so high that the event instituted a lottery method. In fact, the organizers revealed that around 25,000 people watched matches between April 23rd and April 30th. Based on how many people came, both the fans and the players were excited. Last year, there was about 2,100 participants, but this year, the number jumped to 2,800. Hello and welcome to Pro Pickleball Media. In today's video, we're going to look at the top 10 insane points from the 2022 U.S. Open Pickleball. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the post notifications. Let's dive right into the video. Number 10, Ben Johns vs. Zane Navratil. The U.S. Open Pickleball Championship started with the amazing pro singles between Ben Johns and Zane Navratil. As something for everyone. Whether you're a beginner who just wants to learn a new sport for fun or an experienced player who wants to play more competitively. Number 8. Michelle Esquivel versus John Sperling. At number 8 spot is a match between Michelle Esquivel and John Sperling. What a well defended by Gingrich. Because a pickleball court is small than a tennis court, one tennis court can be turned into four pickleball courts, players can be close enough to talk to each other while playing. So if you want to spend time with your family or meet up with new or old friends, pickleball is a great way to do both. It's also a fun way to get in a workout. Number 7. Paul Olin vs. Matthias Johannes A number 7 spot is a match between Paul Olin and Matthias Johansson. Mm. Oh, you have that nice backhand cross court. Pickleball is the best way to exercise your mind and body. You can improve your balance, speed, reflexes, and hand-eye coordination by playing pickleball without putting too much strain on your body. Older people who used to play tennis but can't anymore because of hip, shoulder, knee, or other joint problems can play pickleball instead. Number 6. J.W. Johnson vs. Ben Johns at number six position is the match between J.W. Johnson and world number one pickleball player Ben Johns. Matches both as a volunteer and an ambassador for the sport as well, not just refereeing. Oh, and there you have a big put away. Many parks and recreation departments are already changing tennis courts into pickleball courts to meet public demand. This summer, pickleball is a cheap and popular choice if you want to add something new and fun to your list of recreational activities. Pickleball can be played both indoors and outdoors, which makes it a good choice for any kind of recreation center. It's easy to set up an outdoor pickleball pool, and tri-sport poles make it easy to switch between badminton, mini volleyball, and pickleball. Number 5. Lee Jansen vs. Catherine Parenteau And number 5th spot is a match between Lee Jansen and Catherine Parenteau. Points away from game number 1. Hmm. Point. Jansen not happy with herself on that. <laughs> Number 4, Tyson McGuffin versus Riley Newman. At number 4th position is the match between Tyson McGuffin versus Riley Newman. 
But it, you have to do that on a ball that's sitting in front of you. If there's too much pace on it, it's very difficult to change with that big of a swing. And again, it's right back. Number three, Kaylee Smith versus Andrea Koop. And number third spot is a match between Kaylee Smith versus Andrea Koop. Well, excellent defense by Kovalova. Oh, look at Irina. <laughs> number two, Ben Johns, Simone Jardim versus Tyson McGuffin, Catherine. At number two, we can see a fight between two amazing teams for this semi-final match. Ben Johns and Simone Jardim versus Catherine and Tyson McGuffin. Number one, Ben Johns, Simone versus Tyler Long and Jesse Irvine. Lastly, at number one spot is the unseen match that was able to be recorded guerrilla style at the Open. Because of the rain delay, mixed matches had to be finished on May 1st. Here, we can catch all the action between two amazing teams. Ben Johns and Simone Jardim versus Tyler Long and Jesse Irvine. The setting was unusual, but the crowd that quickly gathered to watch this historic match was there for it. It was great to see two new teams for this gold match, and everyone enjoyed seeing John and Jardim take center stage together facing the exuberant team of Long and Irvine. Strategy was executed for each individual point for both teams, but only one could come out on top. Pickleball is a game that brings people together. It gives you a chance to meet new people and most likely make real connections with them. Also, it's just plain fun. There's a better chance that you'll get to laugh a lot, which can help you feel less stress. When compared to other racket sports, the pickleball court is small. This makes it easy for players to talk to each other because they're close enough. So if you want to have fun with your friends or family while getting closer to them, this sport is a great way to do that. Pickleball leagues and events are being set up in more and more cities where players can sign up for different tournaments. Most people sign up because they want to meet new people in the community, not because they want to compete with other players. Playing the sport has a number of health benefits, which is why it's recommended for older people who want to stay active and healthy. Pickleball can help you stay healthy, lower your blood pressure, give you more energy, and relax your muscles. In fact, pickleball is a great way to keep your body and mind in shape. It lets you work on your agility, balance, hand-eye coordination, and reflexes without putting too much pressure on your body. This sport is a good alternative for older people who used to play tennis or badminton but can't anymore because of problems with their shoulders, knees, hips, or other parts of their bodies. Even though this racket sport isn't as fast-paced as tennis, it's usually fun for anyone who likes to move around. You can find kids and adults of all ages enjoying this sport. Pickleball can be played by people as young as 5 and as old as 85 or even older. Since it's played on smaller courts, players don't have to move around as much, which makes it a great sport for older people to enjoy. Most older adults who are retired like this sport because it lets them get exercise without having to run on a bigger court. And even if you aren't very athletic, you can still play the game. Even young kids and teens like to play this sport because it's fun and hard at the same time. When you play on a small court, you can use your hand-eye coordination the same way you do when you play ping pong. One cool thing about this sport is that you can have fun without having to spend a lot of money. People like this sport because you don't have to buy a lot of expensive gear to do it. To get started, you only need a wiffle ball and a basic set of paddles, which can be bought for less than $30. If you want to play at a higher level, well, you may need more expensive paddles. Even if you can't buy these things right now, you can still use them in gyms and parks. On top of that, most tournaments don't cost much to enter. So, what was your favorite point from the 2022 US Open Pickleball? Tell us in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you soon in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.